to install my chameleon build in Kodi. This will work for any of the builds, uh, just uh, different names on the zip files. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to System, File Manager, and we're going to Add Source. We're going to click on here, and we're going to go to HTTP colon forward slash forward slash I dot total XBMC dot TV. I'm going to click Done. I'm going to click there and give it a name, and we're going to call this Total XBMC. We're going to click Done, and we're going to click OK. And we're going to go back home. We're going to click on System, Add-ons, Install from Zip. We're going to go to the Total XBMC. And we're going to install the Total Installer.zip. I'm just going to wait for it to pop up and say it's been enabled. Now we go back to the home screen and go to Programs, Total Installer. And it's going to download and install the new update. I'm going to click OK. Click to go back and click back on Total Installer. The video that pops up, we're just going to stop that. We're going to go to Settings, Community Builds, and choose Backup Storage Location. And we're going to set this to the destination drive we have saved the build zips to so for me it's on my desktop I'm going to click OK and OK again and then we're going to go to maintenance back up and restore my content and restore my content content and then we're going to go Restore local build, close the little pop up, and we are going to go to Chameleon Family V.1.2 for me. Um, this can be any other builds or for any other build for that matter. So we're going to select that and we're going to go install and overwrite. I'm going to wait for this to extract. This will vary device to device, so don't worry if yours is taking a little longer. Once that's complete, it's going to give us a little pop up. And we're going to click OK. Then we're going to change the skin, so we're going to click up here and we're going to go to Aeon Nox 5 Silvo and we're going to select yes. I'm going to go back to the home screen, I'm going to go across to apps, click on apps, and we're going to click on restore local GUI settings file, and we're going to click OK, and then we're going to select the zip file that's got GUI settings at the end and we're going to go yes fix and then use new profiles so once this is done we're going to have to force close Kodi so everything stays as it is we're going to click OK now it's going to attempt to force close it if it, you want an Android or the Amazon Fire TV sticks it sh won't work so the easiest option is to just take the power out put the power back in load Kodi and you should be away Windows users if we click OK it's going to force close if we run Kodi again there we go we're in the new build V1.2 so a couple of changes in here uh, We've added the movie releases tab, uh, so it's all the current releases that's coming out. It's going to show us trailers, so if we click on in cinemas down here, we 
we can uh, choose any of these. So if we click on this uh, pixels, it'll show us a trailer or the minions or either one of these. Go back to the home screen. I've added the fitness tab. It's got some uh, fitness videos in there. A few other things I've done is I've uh, darkened up the blue in the font on both the top menu and the sub menus. I've darkened up the sub menu bar to help us see the text. I've also changed the floor colour to blue across the bottom here instead of the uh, original black. We've uh, changed AAA to Zeus. And as you can see, sorry, the wrong one. We've got a video add ons. We've got some new add ons being this is one, Fubar, DIJ Entertainments. We've installed Zeus, Prime Wire, Dubstop. Uh, the England Cricket Club Football Today IPTV Extra uh, The Movie Releases Ice Films Playbox Prime Links Salts Spurs um, UK Music Video Jukebox UK TV Play Now and I've probably missed a few. Oh, we've got ROTV, Much Movies, 80s Music Videos, I've also added, so if you've got a network drive and you want to add your files from that, we've got the video files here, uh, we'll click back and oh, we've got the files here, we can go in, we've got to add videos, We've got the library there. Same for your music if you click the arrows. You've got music files down there. That's another thing I've changed as well as I've made the arrows blue to make them a little easier to see. So that's it. Hope you enjoy the update. Enjoy guys. Yeah.